Buenas Good evening. This is Clavis, the weekly international news review from PTS TV. Today we are going to talk about this year's international Labor Day rallies from around the world. On the 1st of May, 123 years since the heroic struggle of the working class in Chicago in 1886 that became the International Labor Day, this year's commemoration takes place in the middle of the biggest economic crisis in recent decades even compared with the Great Depression in the 1930s. The international capitalist crisis that started in the US spread quickly to financial and productive sectors and hit global trade hard. The collapse of Lehman Brothers and other financial giants was just the beginning of the crisis that is being unloaded onto workers all over the world. Millions are being thrown into unemployment and squalor, while the governments of the imperialist countries inject trillions of dollars into bailouts for big banks and business. The imperialists only have old answers to the crisis. They have all agreed to strengthen the IMF so that it can offer new loans in exchange for traditional austerity measures, like lowering salaries, which we know so well. In those countries where the crisis is hitting hardest, we have begun to see signs of resistance to the capitalist attacks. Resistance to these measures has also begun. In Europe, we have seen mass popular mobilizations in Greece, Italy, Ireland, Ukraine and France. In France, occupations of companies are spreading, with bosses and executives being held hostage. Companies like Caterpillar, 3M, Sony and Continental have been the home to the first responses by the industrial working class. This radical form of struggle, which has not been seen for decades, enjoys an important level of popular support and is a worrying sign for the European bourgeoisie. Although in an embryonic and fragmented form, the workers are beginning to respond. This despite the policies of the trade union bureaucracies, which put the brakes on workers' actions and organization, dividing our ranks between native and immigrant workers and supporting one or another proposal by the ruling class. In Latin America, although the crisis has not yet hit at full strength, different governments are preparing to apply austerity measures and secure the capitalist profits through reduced hours, redundancies and wage cuts. May the 1st, 2009 posed a need for United United actions in response to the crisis, regardless of national boundaries, to make the capitalists pay for the crisis. Now we are going to show reports sent by correspondents of our sister organizations in Latin America and Europe.